What's up, Gemini, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my handsome Geminis out there are doing well. All right, you guys, we're going to pull some messages from the divine masculine here, okay? So if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Gemini, let's go, okay? So, Geminis, we have someone here that did not realize that they were toxic, okay? So, you could have told this person, like, hey, you toxic, and you got a lot of toxic ways, and I just can't deal with you no more, bro, okay? <laughs> See if y'all take it how it resonates. So, I feel like someone here maybe has been reflecting on their past actions, okay? And after further re review, they like, damn, I might have been a little bit toxic, you know what I'm saying? Gemini may not be lying when they told me I was toxic, okay? This is also someone who did not like to be vulnerable, okay? They didn't like to be emotional. They didn't like to express their emotions. They didn't want to tell you how they feel. You know what I'm saying? When it came to feelings and emotions, this person would possibly shut down or either they would run from this connection, okay? So you were dealing with someone who didn't like, who didn't realize that they were toxic, okay? But now they know they're toxic. And this is someone who did not like to be vulnerable here, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell us more. Messages for my Geminis, Holy Spirit. What do Gemini, ooh, okay, need to know. But whoever this is, okay, for having those toxic ways and possibly not acknowledging how toxic they were, they are experiencing a lot of bad karma right now, okay, for being toxic is what I feel. Okay, so this is someone, okay, so even though this person did you wrong, this person could have lied, on, lied to you. Not told you the whole truth about what they had going on or whatever, okay? Or they could involve you maybe in a third party situation, whichever way the situation was. This person felt like because you guys were not together, they didn't understand what they did wrong, okay? So this person was like, okay, well, if we was in a relationship or married or something and I cheated on you or lied to you, like, I understand why you so mad. So I feel like this person really didn't understand why you were so mad, why you so you were so angry with them, okay? So some of you guys, you were not in a relationship. With this person, this could have been like a little situation, a little sneaky link, little friends with benefits. Okay, so this is why I took this person a long time to understand. Like, damn, why Jim and I so mad at me? We weren't even together. Okay, so I took it. I feel like it took someone to a long time to like acknowledge their wrong and then take accountability for what they did wrong. Okay, this person could have used work as an excuse. If someone used work as an excuse not to talk to you, okay, so every time you turn around, they at work. You know what I'm saying? They at work. They always at work. You like, damn, your check must be like a million dollars every two weeks. You always at work. What you work? 24 7? So someone here <laughs> always used work as an excuse not to talk to you or why they didn't have time to talk to you, okay? Either it was a reason why they couldn't talk to you or not to talk to you, okay? We have, I know God made me just for you, okay? So some of you, this could be your divine counterpart here, okay? This could be your twin flame. And I feel like this person, under, like they didn't realize that the ways that they had were toxic. Okay, this is someone who didn't want to open up and be vulnerable. But I feel like this person knows, like God made them just for you. Or you made this, God made you just for them, vice versa, okay? They feel like there is no one else in the world that can give them the same energy, the same love, the same good sex, okay? Can give them that same thing that you can give them. So they're like, man, God had to make this person for me. Like, God had to make Gemini just for me because there ain't nobody out there in the world that could, you know, live up to the potential of the man or the woman that I'm looking for. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What do my Geminis need to know? Look at this. This person has been running for a long time. This is why they're experiencing a lot of bad karma okay this person had me running i feel like from their emotions from the truth from i feel like their own self like this person had been running from a lot of things and that's why they're experiencing a lot of bad karma okay possibly not acknowledging their actions like you you may have not been the only person that like they led on or you know didn't want to acknowledge their part 
I feel like this is someone who really had a hard time with accepting accountability, okay? Mm. At home with him or her, but wishing I was at home with you, okay? I'm telling you, this person, they can be involved with someone else, okay? And they can share a home with this person. They go to this person's home. They may lay up and play house, whatever the situation is, okay? But they're at home with this person, but they wishing that they were at home with you or, or the person that they're with is third party. They're wishing it was really you there versus them, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. What do my Geminis need to know at this time? I love you, Gemini. If anything is resonating for you guys, don't forget to like this, okay? So, Gemini, this person feels like you're very intuitive. And they're like, so why do I have to apologize or tell you how I feel if you already know, okay? So, Gemini, you could be very intuitive. You know what I'm saying? You know how this person feels, even though this person wasn't vulnerable with you. Even though this person never opened up and expressed their feelings and emotions, never told you that they love you, never told you how they felt, you always intuitively knew this, okay? You always knew that this person was keeping something from you, okay? Running from some type of truth. So they feel like, well, shit, since you already know, like, why well, I got to apologize for it? Why I got to tell you how I feel? Why I got to speak up? Why I got to do all this and you already know? Some of you guys could be very psychic as well. You know what I'm saying? Very highly intuitive and then high priestess energy and they like well why i gotta tell you what's going on if you already know messages for my gemini's holy spirit tell us more okay so this is someone that maybe chose not to be vulnerable because maybe there was someone from their past that they opened up to you know express to them how much they love them how much they want to be with them how much they would fight for their love like you know they really put their heart on the line with this person from their past and then this person just took their heart and stumped on it okay so this person said i ain't gonna never be vulnerable i ain't never gonna open up again because the last time i was vulnerable the last time i was i, I opened up to somebody you know what i'm saying i wound up with my feelings being hurt so this could have been a male or a female that told themselves they were never going to open up to anyone else again because i felt like some type of heartache and pain that they dealt with from opening up to someone like they feel like nah i'm good on that someone has been watching you guys though and they feel like that you are very sexy to them, okay? So I feel like it's something about your body, whether you a male or a female. You know, you take care of yourself. You got curves, nice body, you know, all the things that they like. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're saying they know God made you just for them because you got everything in the right places, baby. Everything that they like, you got that, okay? But I feel like on this journey, you guys, some of this is to be your divine counterpart, okay? I feel like, Gemini, you've grown. You've elevated, you've changed, okay? And I feel like you've changed a lot drastically physically here, okay? Some of you guys, your hair could have grown. Maybe you cut it off. You could have dyed your hair. You lost some weight. You know what I'm saying? But you're looking good. And I feel like this person's not going to recognize you. Some of you guys, hey, your money may be good. You may be dressing a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be like, damn, is that Gemini? Like, shit, what Gemini been doing? So some of you, the Holy Spirit is about to bless you, okay? Some of you are going to be very booked and busy in your career, with your business, whatever you're doing, okay? And you're going to become very successful here. And this person ain't going to be able to recognize you when they come back around, okay? I know I took way too long to give you an apology and make things right, okay? This person took way too long to give you an apology, okay? Tell you that they were sorry. Made things right between you guys. And I feel like while you were in this energy of waiting, because we're not technically supposed to be waiting on anyone here okay while you were waiting on this person to get themselves together baby you start working on yourself okay you start working on your dreams working on those goals and actually accomplishing those things okay and as you start to do those things your businesses your money is going to elevate baby you're gonna grow and this person when they come back around they ain't gonna know who you are they ain't gonna recognize you because you're gonna be looking different you're gonna be in that same energy that you were in before okay and some of you guys this third party that we're talking about they were married to this person okay and they're thinking about filing a divorce because they knew they took way too long to give you this apology and make things right. And the only way that they can make things right for you guys is to divorce this third party or whoever else that they were dealing with, okay? All right, Gemini. 
Oh, and for some of you guys, okay, if you're wondering why this person hasn't been reaching out to you guys, why they haven't been communicating as much as they used to, it could be because this third party is watching them like a hawk, okay? Because some of you guys, they feel that this person wants to divorce them and they don't love them, don't want to be with them anymore, okay? And this, this person's coming back in, Gemini, because they can't let anyone come in and take their spot, especially if they realize that God made you, baby, just for them, okay? All right, so let's see who this reading is about for my Gemini. Gemini, this could be, I could be describing you, or this could be your person here, okay? Messages for Gemini, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about for my Gemini? I love you, Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Who is this reading about when it comes to my Gemini, Holy Spirit? Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Gemini, this could be about an older female. Okay, this could be about someone that has short hair. Remember I said, you guys, they like you just the way you are. You so damn sexy. Because some of you guys, you think it's fuck, okay? You can have slanted eyes. Let's get one more. Who is this reading about for my Gemini's? Gemini, this could be about someone who wears hoop earrings. Mm. Okay, you or your person to wear hoop earrings. You can have piercings. This could be in your nose, face, ears, salt and pepper hair. And this could be about someone who wears cowboy hats, okay? All right, let's see who this reading is about. Gemini, we got Virgo, Aries, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have, ooh, damn, heavy, heavy Taurus energy and Virgo. And we also have Leo, Sag, Cancer, and Aries. All right, Gemini, I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.